I'm at Maxwell at the gate, the one that is off the 405 freeway in uh, Westwood. And his exhibit, his lecture, was just so fantastic. And I am so glad that he is going to give this to me. It is, it's a wonderful gift. But Maxwell is a very talented, and I could actually, this should be about, I don't know, nine or ten pages long, but we're heading to the chase, so I'll give it to you in a shorter form. Yeah. Maxwell has been involved for 34 years <laughs> in the movie, TV, <laughs> and fashion industry. He left the industry to work at the UCLA as head of the costume shop for the School of Theater, Film, and Television. He has studied the 18th century for over 15 years at LACMA, Los Angeles County Museum of Art. He retired in 2009 and devotes his time to lecturing, yay, and teaching in various universities. And we're lucky enough to have him this evening. Thank you much for your invitation uh, for this lecture today. Um, this is very special um, to me because to have an organization that can put the fans with the costumes, um, I think is very special. Um, this lecture was done for an exhibit at the Getty Museum last year. It was an exhibit that took 10 years to put together. And it was called Paris Life and Luxury. And it's very different with it not being all royalty. This is about the bourgeois, the wealthy Parisians who were wealthier at many, many times, wealthier than royalty. So what they did was the royals married into the bourgeois. So the wife or the husband got a title and the person proposing got the money. This is about their level and how extreme it was. It was uh, an incredible amount of wealth. And the program at the Getty was, when they have a very special exhibit, they pick somebody to coordinate with the exhibit. They have an artist at work program. <laughs> and so I was very graciously uh, recommended by LACMA, and it was very, very successful. Um, the Getty is not very costume-oriented. And uh, I felt that I put a little foot in the door. They had the best. Uh, attendance and in the program of this uh, caliber, uh, it's the best attendance since it started. So it let them know they're starting to say, and maybe there's something with the costume. Because in the exhibit, they took some of the costumes from LACMA and put them in amongst the furnishings. So to explain what this is about today, it's like four segments. And the chemise, the most important undergarment in the 18th century. This was the one and only woman's undergarment. There were no other undergarments under this. No panties, no pantyhose, nothing like that. So, um, this is quite an amazing uh, piece of fabric. Uh, linen was the major fabric of the period. And so this is quite an incredible plant. I don't know how much, but my puppy. No, you're fine. Um, she is wearing a French chemise, in case you ever have to recognize them. They're so rare, you're not going to see them in many uh, places. There's very few uh, in the museums in the world who have a chemise. One belonging to Marie Antoinette in, at the Musée Candelay in Paris. And this with pattern was taken off one at Colonial Williamsburg. It's the same shape. The only thing that changes is the one with Marie Antoinette had very tiny pleats on the sleeve, as it was later in the period. This is the time of Louis XV, so we're talking about 1714 to 1774. It, um, and made, I used um, uh, Madame Pompadour as the role model scene. She was the major, major fashion leader. Would you like to give 
Laura's talking. I hope you.